Hey everyone, Salty Stark here. Um, today, you know, it's been a while, but today I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, how I clear my rune storage, because I'm lazy and I hate doing runes just as much as everyone else. Fun tip of the day, by the way, if you guys are AFK farming somewhere, um, throw on this team, or like, even a damage dealer here is fine. Uh, today we're going to be doing this on Cherry's account, because my account didn't have much to work with, so... Uh, courtesy of my guild leader Cherry, shout out to her. Uh, join Relentless if you want, ever want to hang out with us. But I've seen a lot of people have issues with runes. Uh, that's why we're here. She has all this locked, that she said she was unlocking it all. We'll just quickly unlock everything. There. The storage is full. I gotta figure out why. Okay. None of it has like books and stuff, so let's unlock it all real quick. To it. We're really gonna mess up her account, by the way, guys. It's gonna be a good time. Holy, she locks everything. You know what? We're going to make this easier. Instead of unlocking everything beforehand, because that's going to take too long, we'll just unlock what we need to unlock. <laughs> uh, let's get started, I guess. So, basically, all I do is, first off, I go... Clear out double flats. Um, I personally don't like anything that has double flats because my units it really works on is like Lulu and Ariel, where you don't need to hit many other stats than you know, resistance. And Ariel's base resistance is actually insane. So it's gonna go through, pull out all the flats. Then this one. Ooh. Then we go into HP attack speed, because I don't value attack speed. I don't know about you guys, but there's very few units that use attack speed, and in all honesty, if you're going to be using those units in the first place, uh, we're going to have to go through real quick and get rid of this stuff. If you're using those units in the first place, also, you guys have never used the rune combination system, it's very useful. Basically, you get to reroll your stuff. Ah, uh, we don't need. Uh, essentially, all we're gonna do now is the same thing on this side. Just throw them in. I do random set combination because ain't nobody got time for all that. You don't really need to worry about all this because if you do it like this, it kind of. If you just do it how you got the runes in the first place, it won't they won't get in the way. Make sure we get these. Go. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. I can do this a lot faster, but so before it got filled up, we're on attack speed. So we're just gonna go through, get rid of all these attack speed with the flat. Because it just doesn't make sense in terms of runes. You don't really use attack speed on too many units. It's not really a desirable stat. Uh, stat. So, and even if you do use, like, even if it is a unit that uses attack speed, you typically want precision for that unit, or it's going to be really hard to just build the unit in general. So, you can't really take the flats anyways. In my opinion. 
And then attack speed and invasion don't really make sense to me, so I get rid of all those because it's two stats that are undesirable in my opinion. So, then evasion attack speed doesn't make sense. It's kind of like self-explanatory concept. If the stuff doesn't really make sense, then don't keep it around. You can't select any more materials. The Download the crossplay, by the way, that's why. That by the lady. Oh, so we just go through and keep doing this. You're gonna, if you have as many runes as Cherry does here, you're gonna have to do it a few times. Just adds up. Under the territory. But this should overall definitely up your rune quality i do it with precision too and precision innovation don't make sense so that's why we clicked on those ones it's kind of like it comes down to does it make sense to have these two stats together no and obviously there's not really any unit you might be able to get away with like running uh flats on like lulu or ariel just because again there's so little that those units take up since it's literally only resistance and hp and defense get rid of these We'll go back through, pick up some more, that way we're not having to micro-select everything. So we're on HP and attack speed right now. I have an order of how I do all this, too, so it's not like a big deal. For like, for me, I always do HP, or attack, HP, or attack, defense, attack, HP, so on and so forth, HP, defense, and you attack speed ones, so. The important thing is not to make mistakes and not to stress about it too much, you know, it is a game, but doing it this way should up your overall rune quality. Just because you're not getting tempted by those runes that might be good for that, like, long shot of it rolling four times in the HP percent. You get too many runes in this game to worry about that too much, like, um, obviously if you can't farm stuff right now, like, you're having a hard time farming. Don't try to, you know, walk before you run kind of thing. Don't force yourself into being like, I gotta get perfect runes when you're barely able to farm the runes. It's not the purpose of all this. This. If you do lock your runes, um, you just unlock them. Like, whenever you're going for the clean, or whenever you go to clean them, because... With this method, you know, I already know I just pulled out all the runes that aren't good. And if they were sitting in her inventory, it shouldn't matter because since I'm doing it in the um, reassemble or the um, combination area too, it won't touch the runes that she already had out here if they were decent runes. So it's not a big deal. She had so many locked rings. The purpose of doing it, although the lazy way, it increases your rune quality by a lot. And it makes it to where you're not tempted to use lackluster runes to LDR. Of it all. Like, because nothing feels worse than if you just, like, you know, have a decide on a rune that you know is not going to be good. And 
then you just wasted that resource and you're gonna find an upgrade within the next week. Um, another thing I recommend doing is save your crystals for Path Bingo. Literally the best thing in the game. Like, if I was to value it event-wise, I think it's probably better than every other event that we get. Or ever had. Like, just because the reason of why Path Bingo is so good is... You get crystals back while farming runes, and you need runes for literally everything. And you get all the other bonuses. Like, it's actually just an insane event. If you're a new player, veteran player, like, and um, I'm. If you guys want, let me know, and I'll make a future video on what you should be farming at what stage of the game you are. Hopefully, I think we're almost done because we're on the sixes, so that's always good. I we have to unlock some more, but. And then we go back to. Close that. Um, since we're already on this side, we'll just. Can't select any more materials. Accuracy is debatable on whether or not you want to get rid of, by the way. Um, you're doing this. I think accuracy is worth keeping. I don't think resistance runes are worth keeping just because it's such a like easy thing to get in this game. Like, okay, turn these. Yeah, always make sure to switch that back or else it gets awkward when you have to do all this again. Uh, so doing just make sure to do your regular rune maintenance because it just gets rid of all this clutter and feels nice too. There's no way you have, you know, that many good runes just sitting in storage waiting for the day to be used. Like just how life works. Also, don't plus twelve your runes unless you're gonna put it on something. Or you're just trying to see if it's going to be good. Like, if you get maxed out, like, let's say you did all this, and you get maxed out, then you start plus 12-ing, but until then, it's not really worth it, because it costs so much resources compared to plus 16, and typically when you plus 6, you already know whether or not the rune's going to be usable. If you look, just doing this method, we're getting rid of so many runes that, like... Probably, you know, like, if you're a lower-end player, alright. But, like, if you're trying to be higher-end, you know, you're only as good as your rune quality, so... And this is gonna overall increase her power, too, for example, because you're getting rid of all these, like, useless stats. Like, it's okay to have, like, one useless stat on a rune, but when you have so many, it just kind of like inks everything. So, this one, so we'll just reset it back to normal, combine these, and then pick up some more runes. <sighs> so we did visions, check these. Make sure, since we stopped ourselves. Just to confirm I didn't do anything wrong. It's okay to be wrong, you just gotta fix your mistakes, you know? Uh, precision, attack. So, we cleared out all of that, almost. 
getting ahead of myself. So we cleared out all that now. Now we can just go look, look for flats. Clicking the wrong buttons because I'm great at this game. in there so I'll just pull it in and it. so far it's looking a lot better as you can see like we've just gotten rid of half the room just casually and this was without plussing anything up anything like that it's not you know anything where you're really thinking about it you're just you can't select any more materials the only time you got to think about it is when you click a uh, same set combination on accident because it you know that's the primary there is an argument to be made, by the way, for same set combination. Like, uh, it's really good. It's just I'm lazy. Like, you can still do it like this. Um, it just slots them, and then you have to fill it up. And it's complicated. Make sure I did something right there. Okay. <laughs> so many runes popped up, you know, but it's because um, we had already gone through the other stuff in the system, so. And there is more in-depth ways of doing this, too, but, like, once our... Uh, Slot 1s, you kind of want either defense or attack in it, because you can't get those in other places, like in like the 3 or 5 slots. So it's considered more valuable. Stuff like that, but we're not going to go really into that too much, because I'm experimented with it that much yet. I forgot to go and unlock stuff too, so we're going to probably hop out after this and unlock stuff real quick and continue. She likes to lock everything. I'm not going to touch her, um, like, blues and stuff, by the way, because a lot of people like to save some of this. I'll probably touch these, because the lowest it can go is, or the highest, or the lowest it can go for, uh, the collection challenges is 5-star. So, but, as far as everything else, we're not really going to touch. So, we got all that picked up. Go finish this off. That's fine. I don't like the look up thing sometimes because if I'm looking at the room, I'm doing something wrong. We're just going to quickly go through again. And if you're trying to actually get rid of everything, you do have to go through a few times, especially if you have these many runes. So it's whatever. Any more materials. Oops, uh, we hit all that. Now we just have to go back through, check the one threes and fives. I mean the two fours and sixes. It spoke. I 
I do like to keep crit rates. It's not that you're going to necessarily use them very often, but it can be nice in certain scenarios. So that's why I don't get rid of those. Uh, let's turn this back on and then we'll go through one last time. I'm not going to hard press repeatedly going through all of it. But... Until I'm down to like nothing, I normally go through all of it. <laughs> like, I'm just not going to do that this time. Once. We finish going through this last set. We'll be good to go. So we combine them. If you're curious how I actually like ruin things though, I just throw everything in storage and then forget about it, honest. Jokes aside, now that everything's cleaned up in storage, uh, let's do this real quick. Um, four star runes. I just threw a bunch of like four star and unders, uh, so let's pick all this. Got all this. That's cool. That's all there was. Um, to find. Yep, I still have setting done, that's why. Make sure you have the same thing up. Cool. All right, now we'll go and ruin something, I guess. Uh, let's see. What's something fun? She has any unit that can just be ruined right now. The Perna doesn't really make sense, right? So we're just going to re-ruin this for her. Just going to unequip all those. I'm not going to look at what they currently had, though, because that's way too much effort. Uh, store everything. Go. Um, she doesn't really do PvP, so we're just going to ruin it more for um, things. Honestly, that's not a bad PvP rune, though, so... Typically, whenever I'm doing it this way, all I do... I know what I kind of want on it, right? So we're definitely going to want Rage. We're definitely going to want Blade. So we're just going to pull out all the two fours and sixes substats we want. And crit damage. By the way, if you have something like this, get rid of it. This one's not bad. That's a really good rune, actually. So, apply that one. Uh, we accidentally still have on Rage. Let's fix this real quick. I'm tired of seeing these, so I'll just click 6 star over here. Never have to be seen again. And then, I just kind of like try to finagle what looks the best. All this. Uh, it has 30.9 crit rate, we get 12%, so we're going to need a little bit of crit rate. This looks like the best rune, so we'll throw that on. And... None of these really are looking wonderful, so we'll make do with what we got. Um, this one has crit damage, so I think... In theory, it should be better. The reason why it's better than this one is because although this one has 3 crit rate, the evasion and the attack flat's useless, whereas the defense percent roll is pretty decent, the crit damage is almost necessary, and then the defense flat's like the completely useless roll there. So, ultimately, too, when you're doing ruining you got to think about where everything can go so the slot threes 
can't have attack percent. So we want to try to find either a crit damage or crit rate heavy thing for that. Uh, we're going to go back through, though. Here, we'll just do it this way. Too much effort, so we'll make sure attack percent, crit rate, crit damage. Let's see what we got in these fields. Either one of those look good. We'll test that right now. If we find something better, we find something better kind of thing. Uh, here, let me actually fix this too, because I hate seeing other ruins. Looking around. Check the blade category. That one's not bad. We'll contemplate it. Eh. Honestly, it's meh. It's all right. We could have some better ruins. Uh, we'll pull that one out just in case. So let's roll this one. Hopefully it goes well. So we have three to decide from. We're at 53.3% crit rate right now. If I throw this on, for example, it's at 74.4, which is a perfectly fine number. So we'll take that one. Not much thought behind it. Now, do crit rate, crit damage. We'll see what we can find in the slot uh, or threes. So we'll just isolate them all. Click on the ridge, isolate the. Oh, I don't need the blades anymore, actually. That was a blade rune, right? Yeah. So. Realistically, you want to stop looking at the blades, but we might have to finagle for better stats because she doesn't have too much going on here. That's not terrible per se. It would be nice if that's crit damage, but I honestly think that's probably the best one. But I think we had something that could kind of match that. So let's go look at the blades real quick. Like, this could be a really nice room. I'm not going to roll it just because we're not necessarily looking at blades. We just, if there is a good blade, we want it. Kind of thing. Like, this is pretty good. And, like, rolling for six. We don't want that. Basically, if it hits a flat stat, you kind of don't. Or, like, uh... Undesirable stat, kind of like, and do I really like this? Could be a good rune. We're not gonna roll it right now because that's called rolling runes without having a purpose for it, which is fine if your inventory gets full. But so we didn't find really anything too much better. Like, this is probably better. Actually, you know what? I think we'll take it. We'll go back to this. Now, let's go look at fives. Right now, our crit rate's at 88.5. We go. Let's actually grab that room real quick. Um, there's a crit rate, crit damage. So. And you're kind of just bouncing back and forth between everything you have to see what you can get. So. I'm looking at Blake. This is the one, yeah, this is the one where I was like, eh, it's usable. Like, this is really good too, so it's kind of like a weird option. I just want to see what it'll look like. So it goes to 93.5. Probably not the best, but what we can do now is if we look at our rages. Just look for crit damage attack percent over here. And click on slot 5. Pull all this stuff out. You just go through and look at them. See what we can find. And until you get a stockpile built up, this is kind of how you have to do it. It's just like, work with what you got. That one's not good. 
If it hits crit damage, it's not bad, so... That one's bad now. This is the one we're looking at, and that one's bad, so we'll just take the lesser, lesser of the evils. Got 250 crit damage now. We can, if we get rid of this rune altogether, it goes down to 79.4, so we're just going to look for a attack percent crit damage based rune for that slot. Yeah. on whatever I just took up. So this one might be good. We're gonna roll it one last time and it doesn't it didn't roll terribly so it's actually kind of a valuable ring. That one I don't like per se just because it didn't roll good at the start but we'll look at it. This is a good one so far. We'll see how it finishes. So we have two options so far between these two. We just measure them out. The attack percent's kind of low on this, but the crit damage, eh. Here, we'll hit this one just for fun. I'm not using that at all. I think, realistically speaking, this one's just still better. Because uh, accuracy kind of matters on Perna. Like, it's a good thing to have. So. Just max them up. The crit rate's fine. The crit damage is alright. It's only level 79 per nut. Okay, let's look at perspective now. So, it's only Awaken 9. <laughs> I wish I could even show you the 15 on it. Not level 80, doesn't have any books. We're probably looking at about 165, 170k power at the very least on this comparatively to like, if we look at the Argon right now, Holy Awaken. And we're just using, you know, random rooms, full books. Ah. Uh, I recommend getting rid of that precision at some point. It feels like she kind of just threw stuff on here, which is all right. Play the game how you want. Um, oh, reset just happened. I was curious why everything was good, but even if we look at like this, she puts her, she puts some of them in crit rate, which isn't bad. Uh, in theory, crit rate is actually, I think, very, or decently efficient, but yeah, like, that's how I do runes. I wish I could show you exactly how this printer would look. Um. We compare it to her Argon rune set, because this is what her Argon currently looks like. Um, without having books and stuff. Let's do that. Just so we can get a comparison of like the rune quality. But like as you can see it was a lot more or a lot less guesswork on what we were doing. It's just more or less like you're not getting jumbled up on everything and trying to figure out if a rune's gonna be good or bad. So and most importantly, you're not wasting resources. Resources are like heavily important in this game, so. Uh, I wonder if she has this preset. That's random. So, here. And so, comparison to that, let's compare it to the Perna we built in terms of rune sets, so. We move that over and take a look see. It by the way, this is fun fact if you didn't know this, you can just compare the stuff. This is 2k power better on the Perna. Without books. Alright. No. The other one the other one's only 2k power or better on the Perna, and the Perna doesn't even have books yet, so. Alright. Uh messing this up. Yeah, so right now this is the difference. The per the Argon's rune set is only 2k power better without books. So, and then if you want to see the difference between the two on Argon, 
Oops, I clicked the right one. It's only 2.8k difference. No books though. So overall, that printer is gonna that printer rune set probably will be about 8k better. In reality of things, so well, 5 to 8k. But anyways, guys, that's how I do runes. Um, intensive guide. And if there's anything you want me to go more in depth about or you feel like I didn't cover well enough, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys. Have a good one.